Today is November the 29th. Did the Old Testament prophesy about Jesus? Well, let's find out. So yesterday we began a new uh, series, it's the Advent series, as we uh, look toward Christmas this year. We want to spend our time looking at Old Testament prophecies about Jesus. So the uh, opening question was, does the Old Testament actually prophesy about Jesus? Uh, you will see various different uh, 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 allegations or, or statements that there are X number of prophecies about Jesus in the Old Testament. Um, and just a quick look, uh, I saw Josh McDowell say there are 300. Another source said 400. One actually said 574. Um, a lot of it depends on how you uh, define the word prophecy. There are three types of prophecies about Jesus in the Old Testament. Uh, first of all, you have the direct prophecies. Prophecies that when you see them, you say, oh, well, this is, this is Jesus. Uh, for example, in the book of Micah, Micah chapter 5 verse 2 is actually a verse that um, the rabbis in Jerusalem quoted to King Herod the Great when the uh, Magi came looking for the uh, king of Israel. Uh, Micah 5.2 says, But you, O Bethlehem Ephathra, are only a small village among the people of Judah, yet a ruler of Israel will come from you, one whose origins are from the distant past. Now we're going to look at that later. Uh, we won't spend time to look at it today. But this is a direct prophecy. You see that and you say, oh, Jesus. Um, it is uh, given as a prophecy of what is to come. And uh, when you read it, knowing what we currently know about the birth of Jesus, it's easy to say, yes, yes, this is a prophecy, this is fulfilled in Jesus. You have other verses that were not given as a prophecy, and yet in the New Testament, it's taken as a prophecy. These are fulfillment prophecies. In the book of Hosea, chapter 11, verse one, um, Hosea says to Israel, when Israel was a child, I loved him, and I called my son out of Egypt. Now, what is that talking about? That's talking about the nation of Israel and the exodus from Israel. And yet, in Matthew chapter two, uh, we're told the story of how Joseph and Mary fled to Egypt to get away from Herod's influence. In Matthew chapter 2, verse 14, that night Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary his mother. They stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet, I called my son out of Egypt. Uh, it's a fulfillment prophecy. It is a almost a double entendre. Um, the words of the prophet in the Old Testament refer to one thing. The New Testament takes that prophecy and said, it also refers to Jesus. Then there's a third kind of a prophecy. Um, it's, it's an indirect prophecy. In Genesis chapter 3, after Adam and Eve have sinned, and the Lord begins to tell 
uh, Adam and Eve the result of their sins. He says to the serpent, because you've done this, you're cursed more than all animals, domestic and wild. You'll crawl on your belly, groveling in the dust, as long as you live. And I will cause hostility between you and the women, between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Uh, Genesis 3.15 says, the woman's offspring will crush your head. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, we read this. When people keep on sinning, it shows that they belong to the devil, who has been sinning since the beginning. But the Son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. This is the offspring of the woman crushing the head of the serpent. This is an indirect prophecy. Uh, it was not necessarily intended in the Old Testament as a prophecy. And it's not necessarily quoted in the New Testament as a prophecy. And yet, there are allusions to it in the New Testament. So, does the Old Testament prophesy about Jesus? Yes, definitely. The Old Testament prophesies about Jesus. Here uh, this month before Christmas, uh, we're going to take a look at a number of different prophecies. Um, we're going to look at 20 some different prophecies. Some will be indirect, some will be fulfillment prophecies. Most will be direct prophecies. They will follow eight themes that Jesus' coming will be a blessing, that Jesus' coming will set up a king or a ruler of God's kingdom, that Jesus' coming will be the coming of the Messiah, the Anointed One, that Jesus' coming will be the coming of God, that God will be resurrected and have power over death. The fifth theme, that Jesus' coming will be the coming of a great prophet. Six, that Jesus' coming will bring salvation and justice. That Jesus' coming will be a coming in suffering. And finally, that Jesus' coming will be a coming for all nations. Does the Old Testament prophesy about Jesus? Oh, it sure does. And we're going to spend this month looking at those prophecies. Seeing those prophecies gives us confidence in God's Word. He was prophesied, and we see fulfillment of that prophecy in Jesus. Please like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll look at the first prophecy about Jesus.